the IAAF World Athletics Championships, one nation has dominated the men's discus competition. By claiming the title nine times in the 15 editions, including Beijing 2015, Germany has proved to be a powerhouse in the throwing circle. But even among the giants of German discus throwing, one name stands head and shoulders above all others. Lars Riedel was crowned world champion on five occasions spanning the 1990s and new millennium. So let's take a look back at the incredible record of Riedel in IAAF World Athletics Championships. Number five, men's discus, Tokyo 1991. In Tokyo 1991, Lars Riedel was already 24 years old, but was competing in his first senior championship final. He was one of three Germans fighting for championship gold, but with the other two being defending world, Olympic and European champion Jürgen Schultz and Wolfgang Schmidt, the former world record holder, Riedel was the least fancied of the three to make the podium. Riedel led the qualifying round with a mark of 65 meters 30. He carried this form into the final, where he launched his first round effort out to a distance of 66 meters 20. Conditions in a Japanese capital weren't conducive to long throws, and this opening round distance survived six rounds of attempted assaults from his rivals to deliver Riedel his first world title. Number four, men's discus, Stuttgart, 1993. At the World Championships in Stuttgart 1993, the men's discus final featured the last two world champions in the event and both of them happened to be German. And the home fans were delighted as Jürgen Schultz, the champion from Rome 87, led after the first round with an effort of 64 meters 32. The knowledgeable crowd of 46,200 were then sent into delirium when Riedel launched a discus out to 67 meters 72 in the second round to take the lead while Schultz improved to 66 meters 12, giving the host nation the first two positions in the competition. Neither Riedel nor Schultz could improve on their second round efforts and a German 1-2 appeared to be on the cards. But Dmitry Shevchenko of Russia shattered the dreams of the home crowd with a final round effort of 66 meters 90 to split the two Germans and snatch the silver medal. Germany settled for first and third on a medal podium and Lars Riedel had successfully retained his crown. Number three, men's discus, Gothenburg, 1995. During the qualification round of the men's discus at the 1995 World Championships in Gothenburg, Lars Riedel's quest for a hat-trick of World Championship titles appeared to be in jeopardy. The defending champion needed all three of his qualification attempts to progress to the final. A last gasp effort of 63 meters 64 secured his place, but raised questions about the likelihood of a successful title defense. Riedel dispelled such fears by immediately seizing control of the final with a first round effort of 65 meters 32 to take the lead. He improved in the second round with a distance of 68 meters 76, a new championship record. This was the second longest throw ever produced at a major championships and was enough to secure Riedel his third consecutive world championship title by 2 meters 78 centimeters. Athletics fans in the stadium that day were in the presence of true greatness because as well as Riedel's success, Michael Johnson regained his 400 meter title, Moses Kiptunui claimed his third steeplechase gold, while Sergei Bubka won his fifth consecutive title in the men's pole vault. Number two. Men's Discus, Athens, 1997. At the sixth edition of the IAAF World Championships in Athens, Lars Riedel was the dominant figure in the discus final once more. Having thrown a lifetime best of 71 meters 50 earlier in the season, Riedel duly led all qualifiers with a mark of 66 meters 46. Hopes were high that something special could be in store for the final. But after the first round, Riedel was in second place behind his compatriot Jürgen Schultz, the 1987 world champion, whose season's best effort of 66 meters 14 led the field. Riedel's response in the second round was emphatic. He unleashed a throw beyond 68 meters to take the competition by the scruff of the neck. 68 meters 24 was the official distance, a mark that would prove good enough for gold. But Riedel produced a better effort in round three improving his distance to 68 meters 54. He ultimately won his fourth consecutive world title by a margin of 1.84 meters. Number one, men's discus, Edmonton, 2001. 
For the first time in his career, Lars Riedel entered the 2001 final of the men's discus competition as something other than the defending champion. The German maestro was hindered by a hip injury in 1999 and only came away with a bronze. Despite topping the qualification standings with a season's best of 68 meters 26, all of Riedel's championship experience and temperament were required to secure this victory. Lying in fourth place with a best of 67 meters 10 before his fourth round throw, Riedel launched a mammoth 69 meters 50 effort to lead Olympic champion Virgilius Alekna by 10 centimeters. He improved his margin in the penultimate round with a throw of 69 meters 72, the furthest ever in a major championship. Riedel overcame the obstacles of a disrupted season, interrupted training and a troublesome injury to produce three season's bests and secure his fifth world championship title in the men's discus, cementing his reputation as one of the greatest of all time. We hope you've enjoyed our look back at these top moments. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great athletics content and visit IAAF.org for the latest news, updates and information from the world of athletics.